have this Cummins X15. It's a newer version of Cummins for heavy duty engines and vehicles. Um, we're having problems with these uh, Cummins. Uh, we have lights over there going on, having uh, SCR issues, uh, and the DF light, you know, blinking or uh, saying on all the time. And it is because we're having a particular issue. As you can hear the engine, how it's running, it is because I'm doing a region, and you can see it is going on right now. I haven't finished yet. Cummins IS, uh, X15 is an ISX. 15s and all the all the uh, ISX engines, they take forever to do uh, regions sometimes. But the codes that are going on on these ones are this one right here. We have the code number right here. This one, this one, and this one. They're all referring to the same problem. The no outlet knock sensor, outlet knock sensor, outlet knock sensor. They're all inactive because I already fixed the problem. The video in this case is going to tell you what you have to do in case you get this problem. Specifically those codes that are right here. These codes right here are referring mostly to the specific Cummins problem. But these over here are generic codes. These codes are the ones that are you are going to tell what type of fault you have. Universal codes we can say. But anyway, uh, what I did on this one was replace the NOx sensor. And uh, if you don't know how it's like to replace an outlet NOx sensor in a Cummins X15, today I'm going to explain you what you have to do. Um, the NOx sensor is located on the SCR box, SCR filter on the back. Uh, on the passenger side below the cab and uh, there you're gonna find the filter all the wiring and everything so the outlet lock sensor is the one that comes right here a tailpipe right here so the, the one thing is next to it that one is a suit um, uh, sensor that one is the one thing is uh, measuring how much uh, suit how much contamination is coming out uh, stuff that the no sensor cannot actually read but that one has nothing to do with this one so what we have to do on this one is replace this sensor to eliminate this code most of the time the sensor goes bad there are some cases then the wire goes bad but most of the time the sensor is the one that breaks and uh, gets this issue so to repair this problem to replace the sensor we have to um, get a uh, 22 millimeter um, a socket this 22 millimeter socket is going to be the one uh, for uh, for cars oxygen sensor or anything like that it's, it has a little cut and uh, we're gonna cut all these uh, cables all these uh, zip ties that are holding the uh, the sensor and we are going to remove the actual the probe the actual uh, module of the sensor using a small screwdriver we're gonna pray the little clip thing he has and uh, we are going to uh, pray it open and then pull it and then remove these eight millimeters bolts that are holding the module of the sensor and that's pretty much it and uh, to remove the sensor completely what we have to do is uh, use a torch to warm it up a little and then uh, we're gonna use uh, the grange, the 22 millimeter grange or socket, and uh, play a little harder, and then it's gonna come out. Sometimes it's very hard, sometimes very easy, depending on the condition of the vehicle. So uh, you do all that, and that's it. The sensor is out. So it is time to replace the new sensor. Um, the new oxygen sensor is going to be the one I have right here. This is the part number. Be aware that the part number may vary for Cummins X15s because not all X15s NOx sensors are going to be the same. So this one is just specifically for this model, but for your vehicle probably it's going to be different. And all we have to do is, re is reverse the actions that we were doing to remove it. So now we are going to place a bag on the orifice, on the tailpipe, we're gonna tighten pretty well, make sure to don't over tighten. And then we're going to align 
the wiring back where it was and we're gonna relocate the, uh, the sensor module and plug it back so everything is back on place and that is pretty much the process of repairing and this process is going to be similar for all Cummins X15s since they use pretty similar SCR systems but it's going to vary on the difficulty on doing this job because not all chassis are going to be easy access on this area some chassis are going to be harder some chassis are going to be a little more uh, easier than others so it will depend in this case this is a, a KW T680 which is a very easy uh, frame very easy chassis to work on but you know some others are not so once you are done um, now you can see then the codes are inactive right but even then the codes even though in, uh, knowing that the codes are inactive we still have the warning popping up and we have the uh, check engine light on you can see that one but that's not a check engine light that's the amber light service light for emissions and the, that light is on because I'm we're doing a region so what is going on here what is going on is then that warning doesn't go away unless we delete the codes so we have to manually delete the codes with a computer with the comments inside software to do it otherwise that code is still gonna be there and the reason why I'm doing the region is because I am testing out the parameters of the outlet knock sensor you can see the reading right here that is the reading is pretty stable the top reading right here is what the computer is receiving from the sensor and this is what is being corrected which is pretty stable the same from the inlet that is what it has to be and the temperatures are fine inspecting temperatures at the same time during the region we have higher temperature higher temperature and it goes like that see so that is good because the reading is actually good and uh, working well and we have no contamination in the filter which is good so the region eventually will end but it will take a while for this because these x15s or comments is x15s take a little longer to finish this type of task this type of regions um, so uh, you have to be patient when you're doing a region so don't rush it don't stop it you have to wait all the time that it needs to take to for it to complete the region and then after that it's going to be all right so once we are done with the region i'm going to go ahead and clear the codes because to clear the codes we have to go to a process with the computer uh turning the ignition off turning the ignition on and that's how it goes it doesn't just clear the code just like that but uh, it is just a little explanation on how it's like to replace a sensor on a Cummins X15, which is the newer generation of Cummins on heavy duty vehicles. Um, it's kind of similar, doesn't vary that much versus the outgoing um, ISX15 uh, that has been discontinued for over three years now because we are 2021. And this specific vehicle is a 2018, you can see. <laughs> and, uh, and uh, uh, it's, it's, I mean, like, it's been a couple of years now, but uh, uh, we start getting these vehicles to have problems in here and there because, as you can see right now, these vehicles have uh, 400,000 miles, which is a pretty decent miles for a used vehicle. So uh, it, it is more, it is the time where uh, this is going to get a lot of problems, you know. So we are going to start getting Cummins uh, uh, X15 issues for you so you can get the idea on how to work on this if you have any questions about this video anything then uh, this video will be being answered please uh, comment below uh, if you have the answer for the questions too comment below any experiences recommendations anything that you have to add to the video comment below as well when I contact me directly go to Instagram look for me Francisco Maya YouTube ask me anything directly just be patient uh, I'll take a little longer to reply to your questions you want to send support to the channel check the description of the video i have details how to send support to the channel so i can continue making helpful videos like this for everybody so as always like the video share it subscribe and thank you for watching